for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a defensive scheme for you guys today, and I'm going to show you guys how to run this all from gameplay highlights. I'm not going to show you guys any practice mode stuff. The reason I'm doing this is because I've been using it so much in gameplay. I've had so much success that it's just a lot easier for me just to show you guys through the actual gameplay footage. So if you guys prefer to see it this way and you want to see more videos like Woo! this in the future, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section, as always. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now the playbook that I'm going to be using today, I really run this out of two different playbooks. Recently I've been using the multi-D quite a bit. Uh, there's a specific reason to using multi-D. It's not something that uh, I find is a better playbook. There is some advantages that can be had if you're running this scheme and I'll go to that in a minute. But the formation I'm going to show you guys can be found in just about any 3-4 playbook and I've been using the Dolphins slash Giants pretty much all year. Ebook link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Now the benefit to picking the multi-D playbook over the Dolphins playbook is going to be this formation right here, the 3-3-5, the regular 3-3-5. If you decide to go with the multi-D playbook, you can put safeties at these three linebacker spots, which will basically give you more speed on the field typically, and you'll also get much better coverage because typically linebackers don't jump and go for interceptions and stuff like that like safeties do. The additional speed and zone coverage ability they can typically get from this uh, can be really helpful, but it also adds to the setup, and a lot of people really aren't confident doing that so to me this is not essential to what i'm going to show you guys today so that is a really good chico but it really only works best in my opinion if you play a lot of mutt so if you're playing mutt i would recommend that but if you're playing regular game modes you're probably better off leaving your linebackers out there because not a lot of people have three additional safeties that are worth playing on the field that have high zone qualities or have uh, good you know zone coverage and stuff like that or high enough speed for this to really work out but regardless you would have to switch from this formation to the formation that we're actually going to be talking about today which is going to be the regular regular 3 through 5 wide. Now, this particular defense has been very popular in Madden for a while now. It's typically people running uh, Mike Blitz 0, whether it's out of cover 3 or cover 1. I'm going to show you guys completely different coverage that you can use today, and it's been really lights out for me, which you'll see in the gameplay footage I'm about to show you guys. The play itself is going to be the cover 2 sync. Now, there's a couple things to know about cover 2 sync. Number one, these cornerbacks are not in hard flats or cloud flats. They're in something called a soft squat. Soft squat is like the man match equivalent that you typically see in cover 3 match or cover four quarters where they'll essentially uh, turn into man matching principles against certain routes and against certain defenses that to me makes cover two sync one of the best defenses in the game because typically soft squats will do something that no other cover two flat will do that really covers up one of the bigger holes when it comes to uh, one of the bigger weaknesses in cover two which is will essentially follow back streaks not allowing uh, you know simple streaks to get outside of you know the cover two deep zones and get over the top of the soft squats or the flat zone but what really makes this play special is going to be the blitz that I show you guys. It's a really simple setup. The first step is the blitz all linebackers, which is deep add to the right and then the right stick down. The second step is going to be shifting your defensive line to the right. Typically in the direction of any tight end is going to be the best way to go. To do that, it's really simple. All you have to do is hit the right bumper or the R1 button, whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation, and then hit the left stick to the right to shift the defense. It's really that simple. The next thing you're going to want to do is hover your user right over the center, right over the gap uh, that the center controls, and that's pretty much it. The last thing, and probably the most important thing, is you're going to want to guess pass, uh, which is going to be very simple. Once again, hit the R1 or RB button and up on the right stick to guess pass. That will make your pass rush that much more ferocious, and you'll see how essentially we're going to get really good coverage and going to get a really good blitz here. Now there are other, a couple of small things to remember like number one you're going to want to make sure that if you have two receivers on the left side or something of that nature you're going to want to make sure that your vert hook is going to be basically what I would call the action side. Your vert hook and your free soft squat are going to basically uh, cover the area that you're not because as a user your main job is going to be to drop back on whoever is the closest receiver in your area. Typically it's going to be a tight end a lot of times it might be a slot receiver uh, if they're in a gun bunch or something like that you might have to pick which receiver comes into your area but ultimately these are going to be your responsibilities Responsibilities. There's two tight ends over here. I have to basically stay down over the center long enough to pull the center back and then I have to drop back into these tight ends. Number one, like I said, you have to stay home for about a second. A lot of times I'll just look at the center. I don't even have to touch them. Here you'll see I basically just press them and release and then I will drop underneath the tight end to basically cut off any throws. Now, if the tight end goes outside, typically the cornerback will take care of that. So you really don't have to worry about that. If he goes back deep enough, the safety will eventually take care of that as well. So your only main responsibility is if he crosses the field. You're going to want to follow that. As you can see right here, he crossed my area Got to the it. point where I had to follow him. I don't necessarily want to give up anything that 
could cross in the, my area after I leave it. But you can see if this receiver keeps going, eventually he'll go back to the cornerback who's unoccupied. So that's not necessarily my concern. My concern is typically going to be back or to the left, which is cutting across my zone, which really cuts down on my user responsibility. Now, the next thing that really is important to highlight is how good of a pressure package this is, because you're going to see on this next play, my opponent gets immediately pressured in an instant sack. Uh, and if I rewind that play back and we take a look at what happened there, you'll see pretty quickly that a couple things stand out. Number one, there's a lot of blocking going on here. The tight end that went across becomes a blocker, and the running back who was in a play action also becomes a blocker. So if I freeze frame here, you'll see my opponent has seven blockers. I only have five pass rushers, and only four of them are getting blocked. So three linemen are either double teaming or doing nothing and I'm getting an instant sack and that pressure can be very consistent and come from multiple places on this play on the next play I'm not even going to touch anything it's just going to go straight to the next play you're going to see we're going to get it from a very different area even though I'm going to do the exact same setup no real adjustments no changes you're going to see how on this play we're going to get it from the left side as last play we got it from the right side this time the left side comes in completely unblocked we'll go ahead and rewind that back it's possible that my opponent shifted uh, his line to the right because it does look like all the blocking went to the right but if they do that you can see you can really get pressure from from multiple places so it's very easy to get pressure from this particular defense now one of the main issues when it comes to this particular defense is the cover two it's going to be kind of weak against the run uh, that's something that all cover two plays typically have a weakness for you'll see right here i mean it's an inside zones dream essentially that's something that all cover twos will have issues with it's not something you can really avoid it's because the safeties typically drop pack they typically backpedal every single time there's no real way to fix that the only real solution is going to be the second play in the scheme which is going to be the cover four show two this is a cover four match cover fours in general just do a much better job of stopping the run you'll see that on this very next play i thought my opponent was going to run again the best part about this is it's the exact same setup and it'll get pressure the exact same way ultimately though the safeties will do a much better job of playing the run now this next play here you don't necessarily see that but you will see i do the exact same setup i shift my defense bring my user down i don't really have to worry too much about run defense because because these safeties will drop down and fill the hole if it is a run play. It was a pass play, and you can see we still get the exact same pressure as my opponent a sense it gets hit, delivering a, a duck that doesn't really go anywhere. But ultimately, the point is that it's the formation, not the play, that gets the pressure. So I feel that cover two is probably the best, especially this cover two sink. You can see, I, I mean, I get much better matching principles from the cornerbacks outside that do a much better job of covering receivers on just about any single route, especially if they're the only receiver in that area, which is why I essentially get a lot of interception Interception returns for touchdowns but you could always use this if you want to stop the run you could always use the cover two if you want to stop the pass and there's even a third defense which is really kind of like in between the two which is going to be the sam three will blitz now this particular play here i used to use very differently but now that i started using this setup i'm having a lot more success with it you'll see here there is one difference where this particular defensive end is kind of in a uh, qb contain look which i don't really like i'd much rather prefer this look here where he's coming on a much more direct blitz but you'll see on this next play that he still gets the exact same pressure even in that QB contained. So it's not really that important as it forces an incomplete pass. At the end of the day, though, cover three is much better because you have an additional box defender. So even though it's not as good of a run defense as cover four quarters or cover four show two, it is still a very good run defense and a very good pass defense. So it's probably like the best of both worlds uh, in that particular sense where you can really have success against both. So you can really use any defense in this formation. Let me know in the comments section if you guys use it and which particular uh, coverage you prefer, but the blitz works from just about anything. So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.